Oh my god, can we just begin already? <laughs> What's going on? It's Lauren from Hot For Food, and today I've decided to turn on the camera and do another recipe video. So we're just gonna start from scratch, come up with an idea, and, and make it, and make up a recipe on the spot. And yes, I'm being sarcastic when I say recipe, duh. I make up recipes, so there is no recipe until I test it and I actually write down what I did. So whenever I post a photo on Instagram or Twitter, and then all you lovely Hot For Food fans go, where's the recipe or recipe? I will admit I get this much annoyed. <laughs> which is how I came up with this video concept because I'm like, there is no recipe, what do you want from me? Okay, so let's just do this. I don't know where to start. Oh my God, can we show this freezer, John? It's a really sad excuse for a freezer. These are in the freezer and I actually wouldn't mind using them. They're two veggie chicken breasts. So maybe let's use two veggie chicken breasts for something, chicken, chicken-like. Chick-un, C-H-I-K apostrophe U-N, not real chicken. I've got so many leftover sauces. Leftover dressings, relish, soy milk. Ugh. I got lots of veggies, I got lots of kale as usual. I don't know, what do we do with this chicken? Hey John, we were talking the other day about how, so on, on our first date, like one of our first official dates, I came over here before I lived here and John made me a vegan dinner and John was not vegan at the time. Uh, but he was interested in it because I was vegan. And he made vegan butter chicken. And I was so impressed that someone actually made me dinner. No one had ever done that before, let alone made me a vegan meal. And it was really good, except it wasn't really butter chicken, John. It was more like a tomato paste curry. So we were talking the other day how I was like, oh, I have to redo your butter chicken. <laughs> It was good, it wasn't bad, it was good. It was more like a chana masala type curry. So could we redo a butter chicken now? I've never made butter chicken before. I'm thinking maybe we could do butter chicken for two because I only have a little bit of chicken. It's a lot of spices, I think, isn't it? The thing is, because we're a food blog, we have kind of everything always in the pantry. We have a lot of spices. We've got, I have coconut milk. So let's make a better butter chicken than John Deemer. <laughs> And go. The better butter chicken. Let's just start with this chicken and I'll get some spices and stuff going. Oh, we need uh, onion. Garlic. At some point we'll need cilantro. This cilantro's almost on its way out. My issue with butter chicken is there's never green in it. Like there's never any vegetables in it. Peas are not in butter chicken. That's where you also misstepped. You put, you did tofu and you did peas. It's gonna be better with this like, vegan chicken. So butter chicken is creamy and I'm assuming they use cream and butter. <laughs> so I would rather use coconut milk, hopefully that will work. So here's a question. Now obviously I know nothing about Indian cuisine so I don't wanna hear about how this isn't authentic or whatever. I'm just gonna try and make it. Do I use whole seeds, like whole coriander seeds, whole mustard seeds, whole cumin seeds, or do I use ground ones? I don't know. Indian curry, it's not just like using curry powder, yellow curry powder. You have to like use a bunch of different spices. But I wonder if you can also add this in. Garam masala I think is what I mainly need, but I don't have like fenugreek, which I don't even know what that is. Garam masala smells like the right thing to do. Garam masala with cumin. So these veggie chicken breasts are frozen. You can cook them from frozen actually in a pan. In Canada, we have President's Choice Blue Menu brand, but in um, the US, you probably have Gardein, you've got in-house brands at Target, at Wegmans, at Walmart, I think. Or you could use already done strips and just cut those into chunks. I'm gonna cook them in a bit of coconut oil in a pan. What's amazing about the veggie chicken breasts is that they take no time to cook because it's not real meat. You don't have to worry about salmonella or if it's still pink in the middle. And they actually taste really, really good. They have the texture of chicken. They have the taste of chicken from what I remember anyways. So you just wanna brown these the same way you would regular chicken and we're gonna cut them into slices and chunks and cook them down and then remove them from the pan and do the curry in the pan, same pan. So the only thing with these veggie chicken breasts is that they're not gluten free. So sorry, but all you VGF HC F people, I don't know what that stands for. <laughs> HCLF, is that high calorie, low fat? Who cares? You're not gonna eat these, but that's too bad. Sucks to be you because this is gonna be delicious. So we'll start with a uh, half of a white onion because we're not making a lot. Now we're gonna saute this onion first. 
We might need to add a little bit more coconut oil. I think we do. We'll add another tablespoon. I guess part of building a curry is getting the spices all toasty and fragrant, so you gotta put them in now. So let's do, let's start with a teaspoon of garam masala. I'm just gonna do ground spices because I'm trying to make this kind of a quick butter chicken instead of like a long drawn out thing, where if I used whole seeds, I'd have to let it cook for a long time, I think. So I'm just gonna do a teaspoon of cumin. I'm gonna do one teaspoon of coriander. If your pan starts getting a little dry, just add a little bit more coconut oil. I added like another teaspoon to the pan here. I don't know, should I add anything else? Ginger? I guess I'll just add half a teaspoon of ground ginger. Okay, so your onions get kind of soft, your spices are all in there, you can really smell it, it smells good. And at this point, we're gonna add garlic. Okay, I'm gonna add like two cloves of garlic, big cloves. I use a garlic press to mince them, but you can do whatever you want. You can chop it up really finely. Let the garlic soften just for like a minute. So if you add your cream first, and then we'll try to get that orange color. Oh, red and yellow make orange. So I need to add some yellow. So I need to add turmeric, don't I? I'm gonna add half a teaspoon of turmeric. <laughs> Simple primary school, making colors. Cause butter chicken is orange, it's not red. Well, I'm gonna do one teaspoon of curry powder. If your coconut milk is already uh, combined, meaning there's not thick cream at the top and water on the bottom, then just start adding it. But mine, I just sort of mixed it up cause it was separated. So I'm gonna slowly add this to our curry and onions. Bring that to a simmer and then add, we're gonna add the tomatoes. I haven't added any salt yet. I'm going with a whole teaspoon of sea salt. Start with a quarter cup of crushed tomato. I'm essentially gonna add it until I get the color that I want. So we did a quarter of a cup, I'm gonna do another quarter of a cup. I'm gonna let it reduce, see what happens to the flavors. The thing with the curry is you gotta let it cook for a long time, let it reduce, then I'll taste it again because I don't know where we're at. So let's just wait. Oh my God, I don't have rice cooking. That takes like an hour. Okay, cook up whatever kind of rice you want. I got basmati rice, one cup, two cups of water. I'm gonna add butter to my rice. Yes, it's vegan butter. Everyone asks, we're a vegan food channel. <laughs> Earth balance, one tablespoon. And let that ish boil. This is looking good. Butter chicken sauce, everyone. It's been simmering for about uh, 12 minutes. I think we need to add sweetness. We put butter in butter chicken because they always add cream and butter. Let's start with one tablespoon. And you know what, for sweetness, we could add like nutmeg or cinnamon as well to as a spice. I feel like cinnamon will make it like, like a very little bit because cinnamon's very overpowering. Let's do like a quarter of a teaspoon of cinnamon. Okay, I think we're about ready. It's been simmering for about 15 minutes. I did add the cinnamon in near the end, but you'll wanna put that in with the spices at the beginning, but in the description below, all the instructions and ingredients are there. You can add the chicken in on the stove top, but it's so hot, I'm just gonna do it right here. We'll put this back on the heat for like another couple of minutes just to let it simmer into the chicken. Looks like butter chicken to me. Okay, the rice is done, so let's plate this baby. I cooked the rice and butter, that is essential. It's a very rich dish, but that's what butter chicken is. Creamy, tangy, buttery, fragrant. Are right, coming in? Is it the better butter chicken? Oh, come on. Don't say that. Is it really good? It is really good. Okay, well, we're gonna finish this together. I hope that you make better chicken for maybe your first date or to impress your date or to turn them vegan, because that's what I did. We post every Wednesday and make this. Let me know what you think. If you want to see me tackle something else I've never made, leave suggestions in the comments below. Okay, I'll see you guys later. <clears throat> Let's do a frittata using this leftover dressing, and then we're gonna thicken it with maybe tofu or potato, a little bit of arrowroot flour. Tofu smells fine. So we're making this up as we go, everyone. Okay, so the ultimate test is cutting into the frittata. It looks done on the outside. 